That's one, so, two. have you ever been in this situation? Yes! You're in a game, you get all the way to like final circle of Warzone with the boys, you're locked in, you're just going for that win, trying to get that win because you've not had one all night. I am so sorry. And then you get it, you die, whatever. And then you come to this realisation. I'm so sorry I missed the raid. I was so zoned in in that game there. I just I wasn't looking at chat. Never heard the notification. I am so, so sorry. Well... I know, it was like if you have done stuff like that before, so worry no more, because I'm about to tell you how to make sure you never miss it again. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. Now, as I said in the little clip before this, if you have ever missed something in your chat because you've been playing game, you just, you know, maybe your ADHD brain, you're just too focused. ADHD, that's... ADHD, you wouldn't be focused. That's not right. Hmm. But anyway, ADHD brain or not, that is not what we're here to talk about. If you are too focused on your game, you know, maybe you've been taking a little bit too much of that Z game, getting your lock in, and you get too focused, and you just completely forget that you're even live. I've done it before, I know plenty of you have as well. Well, I have got the tool that is going to save your bacon, and that is called Ghost Chat. You know how when you're on stream, just down there, You've got that little bit of chat that some people show on the screen so that, you know, chat can actually see themselves taking part and actually kind of feel a bit more part of the stream. Well, what if you could have this kind of thing, transparent and all, on your gaming monitor over your game? That exactly is what Ghost Chat will let you do. Now, let's go show you where to download it, show you how to set it up and show you exactly how it works. So as you guys can see in this screen here, we've got the link up at the chat as a GitHub um, download that you'll be able to get it from. Link will also be down in the description down below. But you click on whatever platform you're on. Most people streaming, I'm going to assume you're in Windows. So you click download for Windows. It will download it here, as you can see with the little one. I've already got it installed because, you know, we're using it. Now, it will sometimes give you this as a commonly downloaded thing. That's fine. Just click your three dots and click keep. Show more. Keep anyway. If you're on Edge, Chrome, Firefox, Opera, it'll be slightly different things. And if that does pop up, just go through the same kind of thing. Just click on the extra options and then select that no, you actually do want to keep that download. Now, once you guys have got it downloaded, whether that be in your downloads folder, or elsewhere, go to where you've got that downloaded, double click on it to install. Sometimes it will pop up saying that whether it's Windows uh, security or something's detect something with that, you will have to go through again, similar kind of thing that you've done on Edge, Chrome, Firefox, whatever. More options, yes, you want to run this file or yes, you want to install this file. Now, once you've got here, you'll get the option to install it for all users or just you that up to you if you're the only one that uses the pc it doesn't really matter too much so we're just going to install it install again once you have gone through the installation progress got to the end whether tick that box that says run after finishing or you just go and start the app up manually this is the window that you will be met first the nice little you know ghost chat logo with a blank box here now for twitch it is very very simple all you do Type in the name of your Twitch channel, hit go, and then it will connect to your chat, join your channel, and then at that point, no matter what you type in your chat, if I just type in random stuff on my chat over here, it will appear in this box. Now this one here, I've got it set so that chat messages fade away after a while. There is a reason for that, because when you're in game, like if you've read all your chat messages and you're up to date on chat, you don't want text just sitting there cluttering up your screen for no reason. But I said this was transparent, right? Right now, you've got this big ass white box with this little bar at the top. I'm going to show you exactly how this works. So we'll drag it down here to where it's not going to take up a lot of our screen. We're just going to take up this little portion down here at the bottom of it. We're going to click these little bars. And then see this button down here that says Vanish? Click Vanish. 
Now, when I type in the chat, you can see it comes up. No issues, no background, nothing. Now, this will stay here over full screen applications. As I said, I'm going to launch Call of Duty and we'll be right back and I'll show you guys what it's like in game as well. As I said, here we are now on Call of Duty. And again, if I was just to type something in chat, so that Call of Duty doesn't minimize and you guys don't miss it. I will use my phone for this one, however. Yo. Ghost chat is so sick. This is dope. You can see it comes up there on the screen over my game. Give it 30 seconds or so. And then that will start to fade away. So if you're in game, that is perfect. You just see it pop up. On your game screen, you can see it down there. It's like, yo, this shows up. Whether it's, you know, a raid, you can be like, yo, thank you for the raid, blah, blah, blah. Or even if you do just want to keep up your chat, it is still very helpful for that as well. You can see it there starting to fade out. Unfortunately, though, there is one caveat that I have found so far to using Ghost Chat. And that is once I have got it in this transparent mode where you again tight and you'll see it come up on screen. Once it's in this mode, I have got no idea how to get it back into normal because it's just in click through. You can't access it. I've got no idea how to get it back to that window if I wanted to change something. So right now, the best way to do that I've found is pin it to your taskbar. So it's always there. You then close the window, reopen it, and it will bring you back to this screen here. Now. Save yourself some time having to type your channel name in every time. Come in here, you can set a default channel. So there you go. You never need to miss another raid, message, or anything else in your chat ever again. Alternatively, if you guys are watching this and you're like, well, this doesn't really matter to me. I only stream from a single monitor. If you stream on a single monitor, this is just as helpful because you can still have your chat on your screen. You don't need to have a second device like, I don't know, your phone propped up next to you for you to be able to look at your chat. If you're a single monitor PC streamer, this can come in just as clutch. But let me know, guys, down in the comments below, are you going to be using Ghost Chat? It is a tool that has helped me so much keep my chat organized, make sure I don't miss anything, and it has boosted my interaction with everyone that comes to the streams so much. It's one of the best tools I have found. I love it. I would not go without it now. But again, let me know if you'll use it down in the comments below. Link to the download page will be in the description and I'll see you guys in the next one.